Welcome. Welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. I'm just always thrilled that you let us come into your home and share with you what's going on here throughout Central Florida. Well, in just a few minutes, we're going to be sharing some new things with you going on a new ministry here that is, that is launching out called the House of Hope uh, here in the Central Florida St. Petersburg area. And we're going to talk with the pastors of this church and all the things that they're doing. What an amazing story they have, Pastors Tim and Tamara Marshak. So stay tuned. They're going to be on the show in just a few minutes. But before we do that, Brooke Rathmel is with us again, our reporter for Bay Focus, who's been out in the community uh, as usual. And you recently went to an event. When we saw that this was coming to the area, we thought how cool it would be to take our Bay Focus oh, yeah. so cameras. Was, Tell us yeah, about so it. Yeah, so the Wings of Freedom tour. Okay, yeah. so basically they've got a couple aircrafts that come in that were um, in the World War II, yeah. uh, you know, in, in the war. And mm -hmm. basically you can come and it's very interactive. You basically, you can tour the planes. Yeah. Even if you pay a little bit, you can actually go in the plane and they'll fly yeah. you up. Yeah. And um, people come, you know, from the community and, they, and they're able to witness these aircrafts and, um, interact with them so it was well you actually got to see you th this is the the whole vintage aircraft from world war ii if you're a history buff mm -hmm. that alone being able to tour but they oh, flew yeah. in they flew in and landed yeah so they're on a tour so they go all yeah. over the all over the nation yeah. and so we were there our cameras were there when they uh, officially came in that and landed um, interesting. yeah it was amazing and you'll see in the interview we um, actually talked to a pilot from the war he's a 95 yeah. year old man a yeah. sweetheart and just hearing his yeah. story it's just really oh, incredible. I loved, you know when I, I looked at your video piece ahead of time that was yeah. so cool he got to go sit in like this oh, the he got the he opportunity to, to go back up you'll oh, see yeah it. Yeah, <laughs> let, yeah so without further ado yeah. let's take a look at this wings of freedom tour The Collings Foundation's Wings of Freedom Tour brought rare World War II bomber and fighter aircrafts to the Tampa Executive Airport for display. The Collings Foundation is based out of Stowe, Massachusetts. It's a foundation that's set up to share the living history of the aircraft of World War II, um, many of which, or some of which, are represented here today. Uh, so we travel the perimeter of the United States and throughout the heartland of the United States, sharing this with others. The B-17 Flying Fortress, B-24 Liberator, and P-51 Mustang fly to pay tribute to the veterans and families that share the freedom they helped preserve. I'm flying a North American P-51 Mustang. Uh, it's a, obviously, this was a fighter escort that escorted the bombers to the target, so uh, it could outmaneuver uh, the you know, opponent, you know, and so we could help protect our bombers as they were going in to drop their bombs over the targets and escort them back because obviously the bombers had no, uh, very little capability. They had guns on board, but they were not as maneuverable and agile to uh, fend off the opponent. Tens of millions of people have come from all over to witness this interactive traveling display. So we get the World War II veterans, very exciting. You know, it gives me chill bumps just thinking about it. We have them. So they're telling their stories. Uh, you know, grandfather was a veteran that flew in a B-24, flew in a B-17, flew a Mustang. So we're getting to connect with those people. And you can see names of those war heroes all across the B-24 Liberator. People come that have donated money and they look for their, you know, their name, the name of their grandfather, what squadron or outfit he was in during the war. So it's, that's what they're honoring. We had the opportunity to chat with George Washburn, a 95-year-old veteran who was a pilot in the war. I flew one of these things in combat over, over Europe, flying out of England, and I was did 19 missions as a co-pilot, and then I got my own crew at the age of 20, and. Uh, I was a little guy, I only weighed 145 pounds, and, and so I did 16 more missions as first pilot on one of these with a nine-man crew at 20 years old. So, you know, <laughs> I was one of the younger 400 pilots, I think. Most of them were a year or two older than that. But we had electric heated suits because it would be 60 below zero at altitude, because we could go up to 24, 5,000 feet in these. And oxygen, of course, breathing oxygen. So what is it like coming out here today and seeing these? Oh, it's great, because I got my daughter from New Hampshire. She's known what I did, but she's never been near one of these things. And they were gracious enough to let me up in the cockpit and sit in my old seat. But I'll tell you, it was a struggle getting in and out of there. <laughs> Not quite the same. No, I used to hop in and out like nothing, you know? <laughs> 
The Wings of Freedom Tour is truly one of the most unique, interactive displays of its kind, and guests are loving it. Reporting in Tampa for Bay Focus, I'm Brooke Rathmel. Thank you, Brooke, so much for that piece. Wow, I loved it. I have to tell you, I'm a history buff, and to see events like that, we love going out into the community for Bay Focus as well, just showing some things for our veterans. Uh, very, very cool. Well, we're going to switch gears a little bit here, a little bit away from World War II, bringing <laughs> a little bit into 2019 with some very dear friends Aww. of mine that have just an incredible ministry um, that we want to share with you. It's been a while. We've had you on yes. in the past, yes. but it's been quite a while. We have Pastor Tim and Tamara Marshik, yes. and you guys are a team yes. of ministry team. But over the years, we've had you in, uh, years ago. It's been years ago. Yes. I remember we did a Christmas oh program gosh. with yes. you where you shared yes. some of the testimony, so and then fun. Tamara sang mm -hmm. yes. for us. Tamara's got a beautiful voice. She's a worship leader as well. But you, just a little background on, on you guys for our viewers. You have many years of ministry on church yes. staffs, doing a variety of things. Evangelism is such a heart of what yes. you do Absolutely. and helping people. And then in music, Tamara as a worship leader and, and as a soloist and all that. And then also um, Pastor Tim had, had a, um, a great opportunity to, to set up um, and, and oversee a crusade here in the United States, yes, the Chicago area, if I yes. remember correctly, yes. for, for Reinhard Bonnke. For Reinhard Bonnke, yeah. That was, yes. had to be a great experience. That was absolutely incredible. The, yeah. The miracles that took place to lead up to that. We, um, yeah. me and Tamara and our family, were asked to move to Chicago and to yeah. organize that event. And we ended up bringing 460 churches together. Wow. And um, in, wow. in June 25th and 26th, uh, at the Allstate Arena, um, we had thousands and thousands of people yeah. come out and pack yeah. out that arena, and we ended up seeing close to 5,000 people come wow, to Wow, what an experience. It was incredible. You guys night, literally just up and relocated that area and then came back and, and got involved in ministry again. But I'm going to go back even further, and I, I'm going to get to Tamara, too. <laughs> yeah, when you were a small child. Yes, ma'am. We'll we'll no, I don't think we'll go that far back. Her mother would be proud. I don't think we'll be that far back. We won't go quite that far back. Oh, but gosh. literally how God brought you guys together in ministry. But Tim, and this is important because um, Pastor Tim and Tamara are, are real involved with uh, the name of their church we're going to get to that they're launching and recently launched and God is doing great things with. Yes. It's called House of Hope. But also they're involved in Celebrate Recovery. Yes. And for those of you that um, know that's a, that's, that is an incredible ministry that yes. for people who have been through addiction, but it's because you know what that feels like. Yes. Tell us your story. My story started um, at 11 years old. Um, in the summer of fifth grade, I was brought into a backyard of two sophomore in high schools in a neighborhood right not far from here, um, right around Westgate Elementary. And um, they brought me into the backyard and they gave me a sip of Jack Daniels and a puff of a marijuana cigarette. And those chemicals instantaneously went, in my, went into my body and sent me on a 17 year um, drug and alcohol addiction in and out of jail. Um, just uh, the enemy basically taking over my life and sending my life into uh, an incredible spiral to where I was literally dealing drugs out of a dry cleaners in Charlotte, North Carolina. When a woman walked in and said, God loved me, he hadn't forgotten about me and he had a plan for my life. And I was like thinking in my head, this lady was kind of crazy, you know <laughs> what I mean? Um, but, but I gave her her, I grabbed her stuff and then she, she left and she was out in the parking lot and I was watching her. And she just like, all of a sudden, it was like she was fighting with something. And I was like, next thing you know, she turned around. When she turned around, it was like I saw little blue flames in her eyes. And she walked right back in and said, listen, God stopped me in the parking lot and said, you've got to come to church tomorrow. And I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and so I ended up going to the church, that um, Central Church of God there with Loran Livingston in Charlotte, North Carolina, and heard the gospel preached like I had thought I had never heard it before. It was, it was preached with passion, convi conviction, and compassion. That's the only way I can explain the way he, way he preached that day. And it was like a light bulb came on in my head. And, 
as like I went home that night and I got on my knees and I said, okay, Jesus, if you're really there and the Bible's true, if you'll deliver me from the 17 years of drugs and alcohol, I'll serve you the rest of my life. I went to sleep that night, woke up the next day. That was actually February 21st of 1997. And I'm coming up on 22 years mm. of being saved, delivered and set free from drugs and alcohol mm. in my life. Thank you, God. What, just an instantaneous deliverance. Just done. Went to sleep one way, woke up the next, and been totally delivered and set free and just on fire with God. Anyone that will listen to my story <laughs> or let me tell them about Jesus yeah. or anyone that will like partner with me to help other people's come to Christ, I'm in. And that's yeah. just been me. Okay. From the and, and you know, and the thing is, is you hear stories, and we've had a number of people on the show over the years that have, that have dealt with drug addiction, alcohol addiction stuff. And some, I have heard about this. It's, it doesn't often mm -hmm. happen this way. No, it doesn't. It, it, in many times, it, it can it can be a process, which yes. is what, you, what you're helping people through. But yes. all right, Tamara, I want to enter you. Okay, so how? How? How did you this came happen? From, I mean, how? Can we say Such that? Such a good person. Why? No. <laughs> <laughs> we won't say that. We won't say that. Oh, but you, you grew up church kid. Right? Church yeah. kid. How parents, did you guys come Yeah, out? my parents were in ministry all yeah, my yes. life. My, grandfather was an evangelist yes. doing tent meetings in Canada. So I was the church girl, you know, and I met Tim at our church there in Charlotte, North Carolina. We had just moved from Phoenix, Arizona at Pastor Tommy Barnett's church, yes, which is you where I connected. just grew up and really God did a lot in my life there. I met this guy who was just totally, and I guess it was only like, I don't know, eight months, eight later. months after he had got saved. Mm -hmm. um, and I was singing in the choir and um, he had his eye on me. <laughs> And that's all I'm gonna say. No, <laughs> we just met and uh, I fell in love, right? Just like that. It just we met at church, you know, and it was crazy. And yeah. you know, we have quite a testimony because, you know, your parents have these. You know, you're gonna you need to marry a pastor, <laughs> a guy that's got yeah, it. You yes, know, all these yeah. things. And he was not that at that point. And you know, you do get nervous. Is this guy for real? Right. He was so. Was you know, a, Tim, and it was a, he it was, was a even leap more of faith. so. It was literally, <laughs> yeah. literally. Um, but God, we are going to celebrate 20 years of marriage in yeah. May, May 1st. and um, yeah. it has not been easy. Yeah. It has been hard. Yeah. We have walked through a lot of challenges. You know, um, we were separated for a year while mm -hmm. we were in, mar or yeah. in ministry together full time at, um, on staff at a church. But you know what? I'll tell you today is like God has just restored what the enemy wanted to take. And yeah. I think that's a lot of Absolutely. why we have such hope. Um, and, and why that, that word and is such us. a part of what you yes. do. But yes. I, I, having known you walk through this, I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to bring you on. I think it's important for people to know mm -hmm. that people, even couples, even in ministry, mm -hmm. go through patches, go yes. through times where they're working through things. And you have, and you know, there's can be stuff that it's, that's been there from all the years, yeah. you know, uh, of your different, different coming together in different times of your life. It could be left yeah. over. I have no idea, but I'm saying yeah. is it's okay and it's incredible to see God restore even people in ministry. They need yeah. to be ministered to yeah. at times. And I saw that happen with you guys. Yeah. I saw that happen how yeah, God res <laughs> restored. Yeah. And, and then we go from that and how you guys stayed together. You kept it together. You kept working together, kept laboring in ministry yes. together. And you felt to, to start to do some other things. Give us a shifting now and that we, takes us into yeah. today. Well, let me just say this yeah. because it's so important that everyone knows that, you know, the things that pastors deal with yeah. in their marriage are the same things that everyone else deals with. Right. Um, it's either they're dealing with finances, they're dealing with being a workaholic, mm -hmm. they're dealing with, you know, um, different relationships that maybe they shouldn't deal with. Mine was I had, made, I had finally got this chance yeah. And you know, I wanted yeah. to make the most of it. I'd finally got this chance to be in full-time ministry and be this outreach pastor and win the world. <laughs> and I had literally got my priorities out of order. Yeah. My priorities shifted where my wife was my last priority yeah. because I thought I was doing all this stuff for Jesus. And what I had to do is, is I lost her because of that. And so I had to reset and go. And I literally went and paid someone and invested in me to get healthy, to reset, and um, I got help. And I just wanna encourage every pastor and everyone out there, that's the huge. answer. The answer is for you to be in a healthy marriage, for the husband to be healthy himself. That's first, the that's ministry, it. That's second. That's it, second, is that, well, God, and then yeah, that relationship with your wife, and yeah. then the ministry, right. and your children, and all that is mixed in there, but, but yeah. anyway, the point of it is, is, is that I went and got help. 
I yeah. was not afraid to go and help. I love Tamara and love myself and love God enough to say, okay, I want to get this right. And then when Tamara noticed that I started to get my priorities back mm -hmm. in order um, with God and with her and, and, and all that and my ministry and what God had given me, next thing you know, she came back home and it was the greatest day of my life. Yeah. It really I, was. I just, I re you know. Yeah, you remember. I, I just think that this is just such a testimony you guys have. And then now you've gone into, and you got connected, you began to get, um, do some more in ministry. Yeah. God kept opening doors <laughs> for you. <clears throat> including after that time yes. is when you end up going with the traveling with Reinhard Bonnke, but also some other local ministries here, yes. churches here. But one of the things that is your, tell us about the House of Hope. Mm -hmm. This is now, th I just love that name. I love oh. saying the House of Hope and it's connected a little bit too. They're all together a little bit with what you do is celebrate recovery. It's all yes. part of your and mission. I just, I just want to say really quick regarding when we went to Chicago because that yeah. was such a pivotal point in yeah. our life when yeah. we made that, when we were obedient to Christ yeah. and we left everything we knew that we were comfortable with, but we decided we're going to go as a family and do this as a family in our marriage and in just with Austin, our son who's 17 yeah. now, it just was a pivotal time because I believe that God just shifted some things and really birthed even more so the dream of House of Hope. Yeah. Because I think when you're in your comfort zone, I know this, <laughs> you're not going to go on to that new fresh thing that God has for you. You've mm -hmm. got to keep dreaming and going and yeah. and pursuing that dream that God gives us. So that was a huge exactly. moment exactly. to start and, things. And just yeah. to be clear, from the moment I met Tamara, I was like, I cannot wait to someday have a church with this girl. And God is doing and, and this. That, and, yeah. and so That's when sad. we came back from Chicago, we were kind of a little out of sorts because yeah. it was like, where do we go and what do we do? And, and it was nothing really real clear from God. And mm -hmm. so in May of 2016, we literally, uh, a friend of mine that I grew up in middle school, Tyrone Middle School, mm -hmm. said, hey, if you need a place to live, he gave us a place that we, a three bedroom, two bath with a big backyard by Tyrone Mall, mm -hmm. something we never could have afforded in a million years. And he basically gave us that house to live in mm -hmm. and it gave us a rent that we could afford mm -hmm. and it brought hope in our hearts. And so right as soon as we moved into that house, that was April, May came around and God was like, I want you to have people in your home. So May of 2016 was seven people in our home. We went back to that, that original biblical model that, um, that they yeah. did in the, the book house, of Acts, the house, church. The house yeah. church. And so people came over and we fed them. And mm -hmm. then we told them the vision uh, of what we, what we felt like we wanted to do. And Tamara led worship from the TV yeah. and, and just all those things. And we, we were all together and, uh, and that's how it started. Okay, we are literally, I cannot even believe I'm saying this. We're running out of time. So we are, <laughs> I, I don't what? know how I felt like we had so we, we are like running. So we have five, we have about five minutes left. Okay. And I wanna cover, I wanna say this. You, you started there the house church, um, House of Hope. Let's, sh let's show some pictures too. We have some pictures because you also do a women's ministry thing yeah. called Hope Chicks. Yes. Hope Chicks. Yes. But let's show the pictures. Tell us yeah. what we're seeing here on some of these. So this is our last month. Uh, what we do is we meet on Saturday night yes. and we have a free dinner. Um, it's amazing dinner and we have fellowship and we have worship. So um, our friend there at the top is praying over us as a family as we're kind of launching out now. God has doing yeah. some amazing miracles um, to really make this happen. And uh, then I'm leading worship. I have an incredible team. We're called Hope United. We're just all about hope, okay? I love that. And I Darlene, that. we're gonna have you come and yes. sing on yes. Hope United. Yeah. Um, and oh. it's, listen, I, I'm just all about blessing Jesus. Tamara's because an amazing he has, singer. Um, blessed our lives. So this is um, Hope Chicks. It's something obviously that came out of House of Hope. As Tim was saying, yes. when we first started, I knew I started Hope Chicks because I knew I needed community and I needed yeah. friends yeah. and I needed people to do life with. And so it started out real small in a Starbucks and it's just grown over the last couple of years. And we just do life together. We're studying some amazing studies right now with Priscilla Shire and different ones. And it's just fun. It's about laughing, I love loving, and being authentic. But yeah, and so that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's you totally with the name. Not, are you meeting in a, still meeting in the house or do you meet in a facility? How can our viewers find out where you are? Mm -hmm. Go to Facebook, I mean, is yeah. the best way to connect or us. Instagram, to yeah. Our Instagram, House of Hope St. Pete. 
Yeah. Found us House of Hope St. Pete on Facebook, mm -hmm. and that's how you can connect with us. Our yeah. next meeting is February 23rd. It's a Saturday night at um, the address. Is, should I just say the address? Yeah. Well, you get, you, they can find it. <laughs> on, they can yeah, find yeah, it on there. Yeah. yeah. They can find and um, it on we're meeting Saturday night. We have dinner. Come and join us. It's free. It's yeah. amazing. Well, and then and this is this is important. You can't forward. tell. You can't share the details yet, but. This yeah. is the this is literally the beginning. There is this is going to be a huge year for you guys. Yes. yes. Because you are going to launch out even into a a, a yes. more a larger level. I mean, yes. I don't the other way to say it, it's going to become full full bone full. meeting more often. Yes. Yes. Opportunity has arisen yes. to where you're going to be able to do that and and I have to say this, I have to give, um, you know, sometimes you have to give credit where credit due. Yeah. Just bouncing back to the Celebrate Recovery real yeah, quick. Yeah, tell them how they can okay, find you on Okay, so I have too. to give credit where credit due. Pastor Anthony McDaniel called me over three years ago. Yeah. Asked us to come on staff as the outreach pastor. Yeah. And then from there, um, he gave me the opportunity to take over the Celebrate Recovery mm -hmm. that they had going there. That's at Abundant Life Ministries. And that's Ministry at Abundant Life, Life literally yeah. right down the street around the corner here. We literally now have somewhere between 60 and 100 people that come every Monday night mm -hmm. that are finding hope, that oh, are, wow. they're, they're celebrating their recovery. We have an incredible team, Uncle Mike and, 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 and the ministry leader of the team and everyone there, but Pastor Anthony and Pastor Floyd have an incredible support system yeah. to have this little church inside of a church, which then has yeah. given Tamara actual hope and experience actually now to step out into House of Hope and actually have our own church. It's always God steps you into these yeah, because things. Because you are, at Celebrate Recovery, you're leading worship yeah. and everything there yeah, too. Yeah, we have and different teams team. that come in and it's awesome. and. You know, it's been just so good because here's the thing with us. We we love people and we always say we're loving people back to life, yeah, which right. is Jesus and he's that's our right. hope. And sometimes you look at people that are different than you and it's hard to, you know, it's hard to relate. But God is just, I feel given, especially Tim, a gift with that. And so House of Hope when you come is so cool because it's filled with people that are in recovery, mm -hmm. it's business people, it's single moms, yeah. it's yeah. business women, it's, it's athletes. I mean, it's just a really cool environment because I feel like that's what the body of Christ and the kingdom of God looks like. Yeah. It's everyone from everywhere, and that's why we just love it so much. We get well, to you know. I just that. have to, yeah. I just have to say that just it's one of the reasons I wanted to bring you guys on mm -hmm. for our viewers and somebody watching at home. This is just how God has taken a dream. Yes. That was there years ago. Yes. That you had no way of seeing. No how it would even come about no. and how God has brought this to you guys now and you're just about to launch out in a big, yes. big way. Yes. Um, this, is, this is an example of God blessing what he authorizes. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite Love things that. I That's learned right. years ago. God blesses That's true. what he That's authorizes. Good. That's, That's it. Good. And That's if he's authorizing, he's going to bless it. I'm Amen, going to darling. break Thank at this you. point. We're going to take a break and see, and people are going to see how they can contact you again. Then we're going to come back. We're just yeah. going to close out the show. I'm going to have you pray for our viewers. I would and, love to. And just that anybody out there that could be struggling yeah. and needs hope. Amen. I would do that. Okay. Absolutely. We'll be right back. so many different ways to watch the CTN family of networks. We're available on television almost anywhere. Direct TV, Dish Network, Glory Star. We even have a CTN Roku channel. If you live near any of these cities, you can watch us with an indoor outdoor antenna or through your local cable company. Best of all, you can watch CTN anywhere at any time by going to the internet. We're streaming online. Watch your desktop, laptop, tablet, iPad, your phone, or even your watch. Most of our shows are also available on demand. Watch what you want, when you want at ctnonline.com. CTN's family of networks. Take us with you and watch wherever you go. Oh, let's watch on our
Hello, my name is Darlene Greenlee, and I want to invite you to join us each week on Bay Focus. We are going to highlight local ministries, community organizations, events, concerts. Reporter Brooke Rathmel goes behind the scenes to get the interviews you want to see. I hope you will join me each week on Bay Focus. Pastor Tim, I would just like you to close out the show today. There might be somebody that's walked this road of, of addiction yes. and needs a, re, needs a recovery. Go ahead and talk to our viewers and pray for them. Thank you, God. I just want to pray for you today that you can know without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus Christ, I prayed to him. I got on my knees and I said, Jesus, if you're really there and the Bible's true, that if you would deliver me, that that if you would deliver me and set me free, I would serve you the rest of my life. I just want you to know that is the key. The key is surrender. And so I want to pray for you right now. Dear God, I come to all those that will see this program. And I pray right now for that person that is struggling with that addiction, struggling with pornography, struggling with anything and everything that would hold them back for their dreams and their destiny and their purpose that God has for them. And I pray right now in Jesus' name that you would set them free that you would heal them yes. from the top of the head yes. to the bottoms mm -hmm. of their feet. Yes. That dear Jesus, you would baptize them with your blood mm -hmm. and clean them as white as snow. Yes, I pray dear God that you would help them in every single way imaginable, Lord, mm -hmm. to encourage them, send them signed wonders yes. and dreams, dear God, mm -hmm. to transform their lives like you've transformed mine. Yes, I thank you so much for that. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you both. We so love you. much for we coming on you, and being Tyler. so transparent today mm. about your lives, your ministry. Thank well, you. Just keep us you. posted on thank how things are going. And thank you today. for tuning in this week. Thank I know you. you've been blessed by hearing about House of Hope. And I hope you'll get connected with this ministry. And thanks to Brooke Rathmel for covering this awesome tour too with the World War II planes and the Wings of Freedom tour. Thank you so much for tuning in. Connect with us on Facebook. I really want you to connect with us on social media on YouTube. We, and we want to hear from you on things going on here in the community. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next week. May God richly bless you.